Hey, best friends, on this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty, we are talking worst teacher observations. Tune in to this week's episode. You don't want to miss it. Hey, best friends, welcome to this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty. I am Honest Teacher Vibes. My name is also Bree. And I'm Devin Seabold. Devin Seabold. Devin Seabold. <laughs> and I am Jess Smith. What's your social gonna, media name, friend? I'm going to leave it off today. Oh. Make it a little mystery. Wow. Go search for me. Her name is Teacher Tales of Miss Smith. <laughs> I was about to say the math Aww. ain't mathing already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're back on it. So this week's episode, we're going to be talking about the worst teacher observations. Mm. The the taboo of the teacher world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Teacher observations. Ick. I know some we people, did some people already got like a little... little Ugh. My left eye, eye twitched twitch, a little yeah. bit. When, I, <laughs> when you said observation. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's almost like you're actually like hurling with uh, observation. <laughs> Observation. What does that make me think of a cat choking on a hairball? Observation. <laughs> yeah, so teacher observations, but there are some people they like teacher observations. I mean, it's a small look at you. I was just playing. Wow, I was just playing. <laughs> I was Who? like, man, I, I, I just wanted to see your face. Yeah. To see, that was the people's eyebrow you just gave me. That was. If you want to see Devin do the people's eyebrow, you should come to the Board <laughs> Teacher's Comedy Tour. Hey. Devin, hey. Hey. you have to do. The people's oh, the higher the pinky. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, are. is I look fancy, but really my fingers are too big to fit inside of the actual <laughs> lip of the. So, all right, board teachers comedy tour. Uh, these are our summer shows. At the end of July, we will be in Billings, Montana, Missoula, Montana, and Bozeman, Montana, and then we'll be in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, then we'll be in South Texas, Beaumont, Corpus Christi, and McAllen, and then we'll be in Missouri. Spring, I can never say it like you. <laughs> Springfield, Missouri, Columbia, Missouri, and then we'll be in Mulvane, Kansas, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and then we will be in Wisconsin, Green Bay, Walsall, and Madison, Wisconsin, and then we will be in St. Paul, Minnesota. Mulvane sounds like a diagnosis. Like uh, you get back from the I, doctor. I got Mulvane. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's uh, it's yeah, not Mulvane's. looking good. Yeah, Mulvane. <laughs> Walsall sounds like a, a type of sushi. Yeah, it does a little bit. Like wasabi. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I, 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 but believe it or not, wasabi. I've uh, uh, performed there, and it's beautiful. You know, yeah. you know, are you on that run? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I'm so Wisconsin excited. Wisconsin is underrated. It's like the most beautiful. Uh, I thought Montana was. Montana's underrated too, but Wisconsin, I, I love Wisconsin. I think yeah. it's just one of the most beautiful states when you're not in the city. Like, oh. yeah. Don't go to the city. No. Stay out there with the bison or the buffalo. <laughs> the, They're not even there. Wisconsin? Ah! What are you? <laughs> Maybe you should go with us to learn some geography. <laughs> I watched Ice Age. You're going to the... get there. We're the buffalo. <laughs> well, I watched Ice the, Age the meltdown the with Peyton the other day. I don't know. But this particular tour, brand new jokes. All new, all new jokes. It's gonna be a great tour. If you've Good. been before, no, you haven't. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you thought you heard it all, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and this tour is the teacher struggle is real. The so. teacher, the struggle is real. Is this one the struggle? Is real? I, I, I thought it was the teacher struggle is the real. The teacher struggle is real. Hey, because okay. it is. Everybody's struggle is real, but the teacher struggle just ghetto. I don't know. It mm-hmm. just it's a it's a struggle. Mm-hmm. You know what else is a struggle? Observation. Teacher observation. <laughs> <laughs> I can we can we do you, that? Yeah. I can't unhear you say I, oh. wow, So the worst <laughs> observation that I had. <laughs> Have y'all had bad teacher observations? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Absolutely. I always Yours ended was too up, quick. I always ended with highly effective. Like I was really good at at teaching yeah but i did have some times where it wasn't like form i never had a bad formal and and i always i i would occasionally have like a bad just walk through mm-hmm. and that was the word i yeah, when i, I like... first started teaching i really didn't know what i was doing mm-hmm. and they put me in this intensive reading class and i was trying and um i remember one time i showed indiana jones because it was like we just didn't have anything to do. And like, we had already taken the test. Like, the whole point of intensive reading oh. was to teach the FCAT. We took the FCAT. That is the weirdest acronym. And, and, and literally, <laughs> they're, they're done. They, they don't have anything else that they right. need from me. Yeah. And I remember I put on Indiana Jones, and I'll never forget the principal came in. He's like, uh, and I go, it's, um, it's the history of the, uh, with the, 
the stat if you I, uh <laughs> which one was I looked, it? At him, I looked at him i was like hey if you want to reach reach in my chest and rip my heart out and throw me <laughs> yeah. into a lava i wouldn't blame you this looks terrible <laughs> i'm so sorry about this those are the worst <laughs> times when they come in and you're like i have no explanation I, I got that. you got me i <laughs> yep. have no explanation are, are you sitting at your desk no i'm under it i'm, I'm hiding right now i'm, I'm not taking here. a nap yeah <laughs> i teach our observations they i don't know why like i just get so i don't like people to watch me Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can do my job when you ain't in here. Somehow, as soon as you came in here, I forgot how to read. And then, of course, a kid is going to ask me how to spell the hardest word. Mr. Richardson, how you spell onomatopoeia? Listen, <laughs> we didn't talk before they came in here. Right. Why would you ask me that? Now I'm getting fired because I went off on you for asking me how to spell onomatopoeia. When you know dang well, I had to Google how to spell that. <laughs> What's funny is like sometimes you'll have like one or two students that you know are never really engaged in the class. And then you're like, oh, I'm getting observed tomorrow. Can you please be engaged? And then they engage and you're like, never engage. Never, never again. Never mind. Please, please do not, please do not do ever not engage. Never do that. Never mind. You don't ever have to talk again if you don't want to. I will not hold it against you. Right. Have you had a bad observation, Brie? So mine was not. I've not had a bad formal observation, but... And I got observed by somebody that wasn't even, it's not even a principal in my school. It was somebody from the district. <laughs> Just like waltzing in. And I'm like, why are you here? And you're being rude. It was one of the rudest, like, pop-up observations I've ever had. And I'm like, I mean, I talked to my principal afterwards, and she was like, it's okay. You know, they can be a little rude sometimes. She's like, I, you know, she reaffirmed me. She was like, I watch you teach all the time. Like, you're good. But I, I've never had, I've had a, uh, bad observation before but I've never had somebody be so rude during an observation and I didn't I didn't know him had never met him before I, matter of fact when he came in I didn't even know who he was I thought I thought he was like stranger a, danger I didn't know who he was <laughs> where's your badge yeah I've never seen yeah right? I've never seen him because I'm always like I don't see no badge yeah and I guess his badge was I, I think he had a badge on but I was like I don't I don't know who this is so I'm just talking you know to him I'm like maybe it's a you know, one of the reading coaches or something. I had no idea who. I still don't, to this day, don't know what he did yeah. at, at the district. But he came in, and it was when I was teaching math. My entire school knew that I did not want to teach math, that I, I was teaching math because we needed a certified teacher in there. But everybody knew I was an English teacher. And, and the principal, the assistant principal, she came in and helped me teach. So whatever she would teach, I would turn around and teach the exact same thing. It, it just was what it was. Did you try to steer your English into the math? Like, oh, captain, my captain. How many captains are there? If we take the captains. <laughs> Listen, I gave I gave up on even trying to put reading into math because the word problems was taking me out. Right. I was like, nope, never mind. I don't care how many pineapples little Johnny has when he left the store. <laughs> if he stole all eight of them, that's on him. Like, I don't know. Uh, I'm just moving on from this. So you brought up something interesting to me. The district coming in. Do you talk to them when they walk in? If it's district? Like, I, I know no if idea. the principal yeah. comes I in. I never know. I, I'm like, do I address them? Or do yes. I just pretend like they're not here? Or do I go over and have a conversation with them? And then they're like, oh, no, keep teaching. It's like, well, I feel you, so can, awkward. you yeah. can keep walking. Yeah. I, so I, awkward. Like, like, nah. I feel like when it's a formal observation, there's like this silent nod like, okay, you I'm may here. start. Do you district people come <laughs> yeah. in during a formal observation? No. I was stroke no, out. No. I'm like, I already don't want y'all in here for a formal. Yeah. I don't want any people from the district in here. Do you feel like it's you... I don't know. I've, I've, I loved teaching. I thought it was great. And I... I thought the observations were okay, but I also felt like when everybody knows exactly when the observation is going to happen, mm -hmm. to me, that's not an observation. Yeah, that's exactly. that's literally like a show. Yeah. It's like I've, I know exactly when, you know, I mean, like that's as a comedian, I'm doing club shows, but if I know Jimmy Fallon's coming in to audition people for a late night, my set is going to be Pristine. different. It's going Absolutely. to be everything will be I'm so not calculated. Anything. <laughs> yeah. But that's not the comic that I, you're gonna get no if you come work. see me because it's just the way it is, you yeah. know. And I feel like that is kind of and I feel like not only are we putting on a show, mm. but the students are putting on a show. Yeah. It's like that one's normally asleep. You know, and uh, you can go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you know what? I used to always tell my students um, and I always got highly effective, but mm -hmm. I really did tell them, don't change. Yeah, no. And, and, and I, you I know act. some teachers are like, listen, I really need you to be on your best behavior. I would be like, I want them to see exactly what 
I deal with and how I yeah. deal with it. And uh, if kids went to bed or went to sleep, I would literally walk up to them and I would wake them gently. And, you know, and I was like, if you go to sleep during my observation, then I'm going to wake you, but I'm not going to do anything I'm not going to normally do. Right. You know, I'm not going to sit there and pretend like I'm superhero teacher. Yeah. Um, it's Cause you don't want to be a dog it. and pony show. Yeah. This is the, f- this, this is the first year that I have not been super stressed out about observations, but it's cause my principal is always in my room. Right. Like we have, she has that type of relationship with her, with her teachers so that yeah. when they do come in for a formal, I don't get stressed out because they're yeah. normally always right. in there. And she comes in for the kids to see her, you know, for her to be a presence to get her. She does that. And so does our, so do our assistant principals so that when they do come in, I'm, I'm not super stressed out because I see them all the time. Yeah. But she also treats us like professionals and there's a mutual respect. So right. I also, it's not as, uh, formal observations are not as scary to me as they used to be. I would get so panicked and so stressed out but it's because I didn't really have a relationship with them and the only time I really saw them was when they came in for observation. Yeah. Did you ever do self self observations? What is that? So we have uh, in the state of Florida VAM score essentially, mm. which is a combination of test scores, uh, walkthroughs, things like that. Now, one of the things that they incorporated, and I remember the first year they did, they said, you have a self evaluation. I'm an outstanding teacher. I plan, you know, and it's rate yourself one through five. You I know, know what I gave myself? What? Fives straight okay, down I the don't list. Know how to... And I just was like, why? Why would I tell them I'm not good at this? And I didn't do a real like self evaluation. To be honest with you, I just rated five straight down the board because. I had already read, which a lot of teachers didn't, mm-hmm. that the self-evaluation was calculated into the VAM. If you rated yourself, oh, I, you know what? I need to improve on that. You actually could lower your score uh, to where okay? you didn't qualify for bonuses at the end of the year. You oh, could be no. stepping on your own feet. So the first year they did it, I remember teachers were like, I'm going to be honest. The next year, it was like, fives. I mean, just straight fives. Like, because we that knew it, were, it Yeah, it's just. Uh, so at that point, it's just like this more is paperwork for you to yeah. do. Yeah. Like, why yep. are you not, asking me to observe so myself? Is Isn't that, that what you're supposed to be doing? Like, I don't. You're always trying to get me to do your job. I don't like that. The, <laughs> I know. At, at, the, uh, at the end of the year, it was also funny because the principal would bring you in and there would be two screens. And on the right screen was your self-evaluation, and on the left screen was his evaluation. And he would go, um, attendance, you rated yourself a five. Uh, you missed 25 days of teaching this year. I rated you a one. And I go, hmm, that's that odd. Is... That's weird, the discrepancy. I would I was uh, here in my head. <laughs> you know, yeah. I was here I when I... With... When I, I did that, this. I was present. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's so, what I was going by. That was applicable. I'm attending. I'm attending, yeah. I'm attending I know, this. That is counterproductive to me. <laughs> and that's not fair. What are the teachers that didn't know that that affected their scores? Oh, oh. <gasps> I, ne- I mean, the first year, there was so many appeals because people would get like a, a 2.959. And if they had done the self-evaluation straight fives, they would have had the three and they would have been entitled to like an $8,000 bonus. Oh, and they, oh they, man. They, Bye, hot. <laughs> oh, I'd have been mad. Yeah, and I took the S off of school. Yeah. Give me my money. <laughs> they gave us like a three day window to appeal and redo your self evaluation. You're like, on oh, second thought, I'm a much better teacher than I thought I was. <laughs> I've spent three days reflecting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I spent the entire year reflecting on my initial observation, and I was wrong. <laughs> Could people opt out of that? Huh? Could they opt out of the? Did you have to do that every year? That yeah, every was that... year, yeah. Wow, I, I have never do heard it. of this. Yeah. It's like asking people, what are your weaknesses on a job application? I, mm-hmm. I, I, I work just too work hard too hard. And, yeah. <laughs> I care so much about the small details that I spend too much time on it. Like, that's a, that's a spike <laughs> to, with that it, is. It, it, to be honest, it's, it's such a lie because I've sat in those. Uh, tell us about a challenge you faced. Well, that question actually is very challenging because I, <laughs> I can't really do that. Uh, so uh, now, now it's challenging. It's very so hard right now. productiveness. How did you overcome it? I walked out the door as I'm about to do. <laughs> At this moment, I'm I'm done. <laughs> it's like, why do you why do why should we hire you? Cause y'all hiring. I know. You ask I, me I, to I, come I, in here. Wait, wait, so, like, who, who are like if people were honest on job applications, y'all ask me to come. <laughs> I want to see like what modern day like uh, hiring is like for teachers. So uh, why should we hire you? Cause there's no one else in that lobby. <laughs> Nobody. I, <laughs> yeah, so, I was the only applicant in the whole district. <laughs> it sounds to me like empty room or me. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you can let the computer teach him, or you can let me teach him. <laughs> Can't say either one will be much better. But do other jobs they have observations? 
uh, yeah, I mean, you, you call it like uh, when I was waiting tables at Longhorn, I mean, we had like a, a review, you know, after like six months, they gave you a review. It wasn't usually like a specific day. It was like, a, so for the last few months, you've done this and you've been good at this and you've been on time or, mm. you know, whatnot. Yeah. So interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I my formal observation, I accidentally left a student outside in the hallway. Uh, yeah, I was mortified. I was absolutely mortified. Just, you just got so in the zone. I was so stressed. I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is the end. I'm going to get fired. I completely forgot that that student was out in the hallway. But in my defense, yeah. my principal was because they let you pick which class period you're getting observed for. Yes. They let us pick which yeah. one you're doing your formal observation yeah. for. So I said first period. And some because that was my class and I was like, okay. Why would you do first period? Because that was the safest class to do. I was I was mm -hmm. prepared. You're hoping they don't come. It's, I was like, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, know. They get, they get really so, busy. Like, I know yeah. 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 So period. tomorrow's my observation. Also, Starbucks triple star day. I don't know if you guys know that. That's weird. Anyways, uh. but I, he was. But so she, my first period class, she couldn't come. I think like a parent popped up or something like that, and she was like, uh, "Hey, sorry, I, the such and such happened during first period. Do you want to?" schedule it or do you want to just go ahead and do it for second period and i was like oh i'll just do it for second period oh uh, you went in it was bad mm. oh, i no. mean the observation itself was was okay but i was a lot more stressed out because that's not the class i anticipated right. to do my formal in like i knew that i had kids in there that like blurted out the craziest thing and that's exactly what one of them did <gasps> so, no you should have oh, you should have no. you should have harnessed that you should have walked in and be I like, you know, mortified. the principal asked me which class I want to be evaluated. And I said, <laughs> my best one, this one. He would have and literally then, you know, said, well, that was dumb. In front of, like, he would have literally said in front of everybody, that was dumb. That was and just And so the first time, out. the first time, because there's like, you know, you have that class period where somehow it's like you have the exact same kid, but there's like three of them. And so, and they all somehow end up in the exact same class. So you got three that like blurt out stuff and and you want it to the the lesson to be interactive because you don't want to just stand up there and look like you're lecturing and then they're going to say the kids aren't engaging so yeah that was the class that you know some classes you have to taper how you do the engaging activity some of y'all can't do group work this particular class i ain't want y'all to do group work <laughs> well, but i already planned this lesson i can't do nothing else on the fly because i'm scared so this is what we're working with you have to change the terms of engagement you need to be like uh everybody open your books and then they open the books and go thanks for engaging with me <laughs> it's today i appreciate it. I, Wait, so I, 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 I have to ask though because you left the student outside again you didn't even finish the story about how it happened he's still waiting outside <laughs> he out there, you're on summer break you can leave what? no he so how you did know you how, cover that did you walk i would have walked out and been like i was uh, i'm still more principal there i would have been like i think that the bee is gone you're safe <laughs> to come back in i was just protecting you <laughs> i was i was mortified y'all i'm still i'm still mortified about it because i was like i have never told a student to step out and then forgot they were out there Jeez. i just he was just chilling out there in the hallway for like five or ten minutes and i was like oh shoot Ooh. i forgot but so the first time they blurted out something i tried to just like keep going because sometimes if you don't engage then right they, uh, move if they on. don't get the attention but then yeah. another one piggybacked off of what he said and i was like okay oh, now i gotta address no. this and i was like hey stop <laughs> and then he was like you know what i'm gonna say it again i was like oh gosh i was like hey step normally i wouldn't you know normally i would just walk over and be like hey yeah like, mm -hmm. bruh, chill yeah but uh, observation i'm like overthinking it so i'm like Step out in the hallway. I'm going to get them set up on this project, and then I'm going to come out there and talk to you. You're just chilling out there. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. I was more I, – I think I, I cried. Was it on your observation that you forgot it? No. Oh, okay. But I still cried because yeah. I was – it's like the – it made me feel like, like as a teacher, how did you for how could you forget him in the hallway? Like yeah. during an observation, yeah. what are you doing? But it's also like the pressure that I put on myself. My principal's yeah, like, it's absolutely. okay, and yeah. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I need to quit. I'm it's quitting. okay. If you fire target. me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no brains. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that stressed me out so bad, but even to this day, I have never forgotten a student outside in the hallway. No way. Ever. Never. Well, six years teacher. Learned, I yes, guess. you can't say never. <laughs> Never ever don't crucify me in the comments. If you do, I don't care. But <laughs> I got I, I got a really like anxiety stress. It wasn't an evaluation, but it was a moment that I was like under the microscope. Mm -hmm. Um uh, we 
had a very short lunch break, like 20 minutes, mm-hmm. and you you had to stay at school. I mean, yeah. there's no doubt about it. Yeah. And um, that day, I was like starving, and I had no food. I'm like, I'm not going down to the cafeteria. I don't want their food. I was like, there's a gas station. Let me just run to the gas station. I'm going to real quick. And so I run down to my car. I drive to the gas station. I get out, get a drink, get a little, you know, mm-hmm. uh, microwave bowl sandwich or something. I come back, and we've had the fire alarm pulled. And the whole school is oh. out, and they are in the teacher parking lot. Like, the kids are all outside. Oh, and I'll never forget, no. I was, like, mortified. And I was like, well, they see me. And I pulled up, and I was like, the perimeter's secured. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking to make sure. Just had to do a little lap. That's uh, I wanted hilarious. to make sure there was no flames out by the fences. I oh, no. I would have been mortified. I would have <laughs> slid down in my car. I went right. home sick. I would have slunk. I went yeah. home sick. There was a teacher. So some school, my old school, you could not leave for lunch. Like, we, you could not no, do that. No, no. You could not leave at all. My new school, I can leave. But you could not leave. Like, if you did, you had to clock out. There was a teacher that this man left every day. And nobody knew that he left for lunch every day. And he comes walking back in one day. The way that they figured out that he was leaving every day for lunch was because he took up a student's phone. And then he left the school with the kid's phone in his pocket. The kid's (gasps) mom mom called the school and said, my child is not at school. She is down the street at the gas station. Why why, why would y'all let my child walk out of school? And And so the principal was like, I'm going to look into it. And so he went to class. And he was like, no, she's in class. And she, the mom was like, well, did some, where's her phone? And so they went to see what class period she was in, the class period before that one. And so they were like, hey, um, did you take up a student's phone? And he was like, yeah. And they were like, um, did you like leave with it and go to the gas station? And he was like, no. Yeah, it was low on <gasps> minutes. I had to no. head down there. <laughs> And ask him Reload it with the telephone number. But in, in that in that situation, it's like you know you caught, and he was like, "No, <laughs> like, <what? laughs> he well, stood he didn't by grow it. legs and walk to the gas station." So then he was like, "The phone, the kid's mom called, and it said the phone was at the gas station." Did you? He's like, "Yeah, I just popped down there to get some pizza real quick." And so then the principal goes, "Well, do you leave for lunch every day?" At that point, you can lie, my boy. Say yeah. no. Right. He was like, "Yeah." That was the time you want to tell the truth? No. <laughs> this was the first time I ever. I think they docked his pay. Like, no. Because he was, he was leaving every but day for lunch. lunch. And like he did. I know. And I always was like, when I found out other schools, they could leave for lunch. I'm like, yeah. I am a grown adult. Why can I not right. leave for lunch? But that was, now I was like, that, I would be mortified. Because oh. you took the student's phone. I mean, it was just, he didn't do it on purpose. Oh, it was like an yeah. absent-minded thing. But they were like, do you leave for lunch every day? To be caught yeah. red-handed <laughs> like that. Oh, out. my gosh. You caught red-handed was a part. I felt terrible for him. Oh. I felt really bad for him. Because he was just like, that was the point where you caught red-handed in a lie. At least yeah. he was at the gas station, not ABC Liquor, you That's know, or true. something. That's true. You know <laughs> I mean, what? Silver lining yeah. right there. So why yeah. was my kid? I didn't know my kid yeah. had a drinking problem. Why yeah. that ABC Liquor? <laughs> no, I would be mortified. I would have died. We got some some submitted ones, right? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Of some the of worst teacher sucks. observation stories. Listen. This one teacher said that she planned out like group work and and activity that she thought would be like super engaging for her observation. And it was a competitive activity. And her kids were more competitive than she realized. And they got to fighting. <laughs> fighting? <laughs> oh, no. They got to fighting while the principal was in there. And her and the principal, the teacher said, break it up. And she was like, that was, I mean, imagine your kids getting a fight and you're thinking like it's an engaging activity. You're excited. And like, as it's happening, you're like, no, no. like you didn't realize they were as competitive as they were. And you got yeah. to fight. Yeah. That <laughs> and then actually... you go in. So we're looking at the two screens for class management. Yeah. You rated yourself a five. Yes. My black eye says that. You got a zero. Oh my god! That gosh. happened to me. I had a super, super competitive third grade class, and we were playing a multiplication game as like the starter for my observation. Mm-hmm. And these boys started screaming oh, no. at each other, screaming. And I was like, "Just you? Know, it's just a game." <laughs> Just a game, everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, 
Help. And then they started crying. Oh. It was a whole debacle. Not a debacle. And uh, yeah. That, that was, was, that, me was a rough, so bad. that was a rough one. I feel bad. Somebody, a teacher told me a couple of years ago that for her observation, she accidentally dyed her kids green. Like her kindergarten kids. Because they were doing some type of... I don't know if it was, I, I think she was in some type of like watercolor painting activity and didn't realize it was actually dye. And I don't know if you, I'm like, was they painting it all over their body? I know, like, like what wait they turn a them into little green aliens? <laughs> like, what? I'm like, thinking she's going to say, like, she just turned their hands green or something like, nope, she said she turned them kids green. <gasps> the kids turned in class the claw. <laughs> <laughs> St. Patrick's Day or something? I, I don't know. know. I felt so bad for her. She was like, I was. She was like, I was mortified, and she had to send like a broadcast home to the parents and oh, say, Hey, no. your kids gonna come home green, green. today. Mm. They could have been red, but they're green. <laughs> so you know, they're all also on green today because I accidentally <laughs> turned them green. And we also dyed the cards all green. I don't have any <laughs> actual red cards anymore. I yeah. I mean, but you just, it's one of those things where in a school setting, you just never know what's going to happen. But I think we would be less stressed out about it if there were more principals that had grace for when, you know, like you saying, I'm not going to tell my kids to act, just act how you normally yeah. act. But if yeah. there was yeah. like more, you know, grace and we're not going to be graded, you know, poorly yeah. on that, my kids acted how they normally act every day. Right. I have to send the same kids to you every day. You right. knew how they were going to act when you came here. Yeah. I wonder if anybody's ever been in an observation and got a shelter in place oh you know to where you have them for like a while oh. you know then it's like oh man now now we're beyond my yeah. own uh plans it is what it is man yeah. like I, yeah my, my principal had to this wasn't my formal observation but they you know would do like pop-up observations and sometimes they would come in and they'd be in there for a couple of minutes and then they'd leave but this particular informal observation she was she was going to be in there for the whole class period but somebody got to fighting not in my class, but somebody got the fight and then she had to leave during. I was like, "Ooh, thank God!" Yeah. And she came back like ten minutes later. I was like, "God dang it! I thought, how can y'all keep fighting?" Did she <laughs> and she's like, "By there? the way, your student's still outside." Yeah. Oh, this is weird. I... <laughs> Do you want him to come in now? Or... Uh, go ahead. Do you when when principals came to observe you, did they interact with the students? Uh, sometimes they'd be like, what are you working on? You know, or like, um, is this always, you know, let me see the work that you, I, it would be very brief. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, so, okay. What have you ever had like, a kid blurt out? We already did this yesterday when you like tried to prep them for the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, shut up. <laughs> Miss Richardson, I've... you gave us the answers to this yesterday. <laughs> there were two world wars. This is the. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> That's happened before when I was like, okay, guys, like, what did we talk about yesterday? Crickets. Yeah. That, oh, They're my like, I don't, gosh. Yeah, never start with that. By the way, never, was, as a teacher. That is an amateur hour. As a teacher, <laughs> never have an open-ended question. Always have <laughs> so a true. focused question. That's why I had to send little buddy out in the hallway, because I, I had an open-ended yep. question. Yep. Yeah. And I shouldn't have. Yeah. One, of, one of the ones that somebody typed in, they said, my principal clipped his fingernails during the entire class of 42 minutes when he left my students were like that's so rude uh first off 42 minutes is your principal nosferatu like how long are right. these nails did you have a I'm, drill i'm like i'm hitting cute like three acrylics? minutes in like is this i'm Casey's done foot? <laughs> i've just he putting on acrylics you got the drill and everything world? getting a hoe how do you clip your... And what you need to do is next time you get called into the principal's office, go Just in there start... with a the hair dryer. <laughs> Sorry, why? We, yeah. can't, we can't do Sorry, what they do. Sorry, a little self-care. <laughs> we can't do what they do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that that would be an observation. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like Especially clipping fingernails. That's nasty. Mm -hmm. Clipping fingernails in a public space is disgusting. Because I ain't gonna tell them what's under your fingernails. Oh, what? and something tells me it was like an efficient, like 42 minutes. That's like where you go underneath oh. the nail. Because like, like, why are you even out. in here? That is rude. And the yeah. fact that the kids are like, hey. Dad was rude. Now some of your kids will say something to people, so he <laughs> better be lucky. Imagine being the kid in the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it goes flying. Oh. What the heck? Oh, what the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and it was sharp. <laughs> now, this one teacher, she said that she had a formal uh, observation, but the superintendent came in for her observation. I would be like, hey, can he go somewhere else? Because I don't, like, I... 
I can't. Like, <laughs> I got social anxiety at this yeah. point. Right. Like, I super intend to quit he after said, this. Right. <laughs> he sat behind one of her students that, like, he says exactly what he's yes. thinking in the middle of her observation. And they don't, like you said, they don't introduce themselves. We don't know if we're supposed to stop and say, hey, guys, this is, you know, because some of them, they've never seen the superintendent. I guarantee you, yeah. some of them ain't never seen the superintendent right. before. I never saw the superintendent when I was in school. If they walked in, I wouldn't know who you they were. No idea, yeah. So some kids, like they, the classroom, they're like, this is a safe environment. We don't know you. Who are you? We don't know you. So he didn't introduce himself. Like, you know, the teacher, she was just like, superintendent's here. Eyes got kind of big. And he sat down right in front of her student that blurts out whatever he wants to. And in the middle of the observation, the kid goes, who the hell is this guy? Woo! <laughs> and then the teacher said, I'd like to know too. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like, but like, how do you? Because you feel like you're just getting judged on every little thing. So it's like, normally I would be like, "Hey, stop cussing." But then you're like, you have to. You feel like you have to handle. Oh, well, this is. And I'm like, why do we have to do that? Right. Like, kids are gonna be kids. You the one came in here and didn't introduce yourself. That happens when someone danger. came in to observe a student to to get them like mm-hmm. services that they would need, mm-hmm. and uh, one of my kids raised their hand and said, "Who's the big scary bald guy?" <laughs> what do you say to that? Uh, the what kids do you will say to that? Fight, like I, the kids will fire you up, and they do not. They ain't even trying to. Sometimes they sometimes they roasting you on purpose, but sometimes they just saying what just, they see. Right? Who's big back over there? They're what are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> that's like the new check this year is to call people big bag what's the worst is when it's funny and you're like I, that's hysterical I'm no I totally to laugh, laugh. Uh, oh my yeah. gosh <laughs> yeah I'm like we're I'm a human I'm human and that was funny I'm gonna have to add that to my stand-up set this one angered me Ooh. and I mean this one angered me because I could see it being a real thing and the principal just saying it and not thinking it's anything but they said this teacher said was told he felt sorry for the children because if he had to listen to my voice every day, he would need ibuprofen at the end of it. I bet you he thought he was funny when he, he said that. He thought he was like being like, That yeah. is oh, so yeah, yeah. rude. I know. I would never speak to him again. Mm-mm. I'm like, don't even, don't even talk to me. That is so disrespectful and rude. How dare you? You're already in here observing me and I feel judged. And you're yeah. going to say that? It would completely crush me as a teacher. Yeah. yeah. Don't say nothing else Where to me. Where is that on, on, the, on my rubric that you're attitude. filling out? That's yeah, what I, I want to know. Like, voice is annoying. No, it's not on there. So don't don't say anything <laughs> Actually, about it. I rated it. myself a yeah. five for right there. For <laughs> the self-observation is still taking me out. <laughs> I just right. cannot fathom such a thing. Right. It's like, y'all really don't care about our input. So why are you asking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You they asked so they could lower those so they didn't have to pay out as many people. Well, and like no, you know you're gonna rate yourself. I would probably honestly. rate myself a five too because that was probably the only time that I would get five. <laughs> they never give out perfect observations. It's because they can't. They never. Can't they can't because ever. there has to be they room have to for find improvement. Something. Mm-hmm. Now here's how Which you is would also get a five. Crazy. Here's how you would get a five if the principals had a VAM score that relied Ooh. on their observation average score of their teachers, because then they would start to stack it and go, "Look how great my teachers are." Yeah, Anyways, they get observed. I get. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody that's a principal tell us. There has to be observed. some sort of formal uh, way of evaluating your performance. Of, yeah, I guess maybe other than me. like test scores and stuff. I yeah. imagine. Oh, maybe that's how they get. Yeah. Observed as a test score. Well, there's the assistant like, oh, principal of observation, school? and no. uh, I'm sure he stops in with the <laughs> principal of curriculum. And they, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's that called? A setback? Callback? Callback. No, yes. <laughs> Callback. So, but sometimes it's a setback when it doesn't work. <laughs> I'll go with that. Uh, all right, uh, go ahead. Yeah, this lady said that uh, when her principal came in for her observation, one of her kids was asleep, and she walked over and was like, hey, wake up. And she woke him up, and then he turned around, looked at her, put his head back down on the desk, and went back to sleep. Oh, and it was the principal's no. son. Oh, the uh, principal's son? I'd have been like, if you don't wake up and not me right now. <laughs> Can you imagine that I would lo- I would be like, I have, you going to say something to your son? Because at this point, it's a conflict of interest. We yeah. both in here help me help you. Yeah. Right. Parenting is a verb. Yeah, <laughs> you because if I lose points for this, this your son. You got the power to tell him to wake up. Yeah, and how how not? You know how much you have to not respect your parents to turn and see them. No, now, if we take a look at your parents, parents. Yeah. if we take a look at your parenting self observation, yeah. <laughs> there's a one here yeah. for your job. As I a... marked you a one. You marked yourself a five. <laughs> We're lacking. 
<laughs> but I mean, I guess I really can't talk because my kid be acting a fool. Mm-hmm. Like, Listen, we she that got already. through kindergarten. But when did I? I? <laughs> the uh, third Are time's a here? charm, Brie. But did you die? <laughs> but did you die? <laughs> but did you die? All of parenting and adulthood. But, but did, did you, you die? die? <laughs> I used to joke with my seniors. We would go to the senior barbecue. You just reminded me of something. We would do the senior barbecue, mm-hmm. and I would uh, they'd hold out their plates, and I would put it down. I go, Hey, does this food look better than last year? <laughs> And they'd be like, what? And I'd be like, oh, no, never mind. No, I'm sorry. I would just joke with them. It was hysterical. They would all laugh. And the, the principal was there. And he would, the principal stood next to me. And he goes, that's hysterical. And I said, yeah. I said, let's let's uh, let's do that. He's like, and, I'm a comedian full time. Uh, yeah. I'll be here next week. Yeah, I'll be here next week. Yeah. Have y'all... Uh, this is like a cardinal sin during observations to not have your learning objectives on the board that no one reads. Uh, so... How does it make you feel criminal when they come in and you don't Did have your you learning objectives? Did you go through the UEQ, LEQ phase? We, yes. we had the You had to have it on yes. the board. And then it turned into, oh, that doesn't really matter. And then you got to have something else. Every year it was something new. I didn't know what uh, we were supposed to do. <laughs> we, we went real heavy on Cornell notes one year. And then the next year they canceled Cornell notes. And they were like, yeah, it's, no, we're not doing it anymore. And it's like, oh, okay. I love how they change stuff and then don't train you on it. And then they change it to something else next year. Yeah. How much you stuff just have to have, to have like learning? all of the stuff on the board just to well, cover yeah. all of the bases. Yeah. There's too much stuff on this board. The kids can't read all this stuff that's on the board. And you're being observed too on the stuff that you just learned. You know how yeah. to do. Yeah. And then the next year they've got new set of standards. Yep. And right. It's like okay, well now I need to know how to adapt to that. Okay, right. all right. This this teacher this now this will make me really mad. This teacher said her principal was 20 minutes late to her observation and marked. Uh, she lost points on things that her principal didn't observe because she mm. was 20 minutes late. We're gonna have to have some mm. words. Mm-hmm. Because I did this when you weren't in here. Mm-hmm. How how can I control you being 20 minutes late yeah. to my observation? Right. Either reschedule it or I don't need to lose points because you didn't observe that because it happened at the beginning of the class. Or like, yeah, look at like my lesson be... plans. Like, that was in the lesson plans. Yeah. Yeah. That, they like... have to look like a college dissertation. Right. Why don't you read those? Yeah, exactly. The fact that some people make teachers submit lesson plans that are that intensive like that and then don't read them, disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Um, there is this one teacher that was talking about having an unannounced 45-minute uh, observation at the first period, 8.15 in the morning. Nope. See, my All first periods, we started at 7. Oh. And, um, you had to start teaching at 7? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, oh, first bell was at no. 6, 6. What time did you get out of school? Uh, one fifteen. Yeah, That's but too, I mean, the I'm principal wasn't there till like eight or nine, you know. I mean, I'm just kidding, they were there. Oh, uh, I was but, like, what? Yeah, but I was two hours. But, uh, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I was busy checking the perimeter and uh, <laughs> came back. <laughs> Uh, back from the gas station. <laughs> so the sport teacher had an unannounced observation early in the morning, and there was like a fire incident in her classroom. So her classroom had to be relocated to the cafeteria oh. where they were serving breakfast late. Because Surely they of the stopped fire. the observation. No. Shut up. She still had to have her observation. So she was in the cafeteria while other kids were in the cafeteria getting their breakfast. And then she got docked on this Shut observation up. Shut up. for not having classroom management. <laughs> you didn't guide the kids on their toaster strudels. You got to really help. <laughs> I, so... This is that this brings up a mad. bigger point though because I could see that happening in the system that I was in because sometimes admin would push the observations till the end and they have like a certain amount, amount of admin and they yeah. they have to get them in or they they get you know punished themselves mm. and so then it's like uh, we couldn't we could reschedule but we can't you know oh. and then 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 it's like okay you waited till the last second now I'm the one being punished for it yeah and depending I, on how long was the walk to the cafeteria because some of those walks to the cafeteria let me tell you something yeah. herding geese <laughs> now my my observation uh, that I actually had where I got docked and I fought it and mm-hmm. I won I had the assistant principal come in during an, uh, a test just to do a, an informal observation mm-hmm. but it did count towards my grades mm-hmm. uh, t- towards my score and they, they came in during a test and then I got within five minutes they walked in spent ten minutes in there left and then five minutes after I, I get a notification on my phone that a new observation has been recorded, mm-hmm. I clicked on it and it said communication with students needs improvement. And I, I, I was like, I literally emailed right away. I said, it was a test. I'm not going to communicate with the kids during the test. 
And I, I kid you not, they argued it with me and said that I should be talking about the instructions through the, for the test throughout the, the test. No. That I should be circling the room, just a reminder, just a reminder, and I should be reminding them throughout the test, because that's what we all want to yeah, hear. Yeah, because is I can a, talk during state testing. Endless, Shut yeah, up. Exactly. Yeah. And so I fought <laughs> that and uh, got it appealed and won. Uh, but yeah, yeah you did. that one was infuriating. So. They just not like you? I mean, I was sleeping at my desk, <laughs> like, but that's beside the oh, point. Uh, no, okay. no, they didn't. They, they, uh, they did like me. Maybe not the assistant principal of uh, behavioral management, or I don't know, whatever we had. Devin's like not <laughs> letting this go. <laughs> I know. He's like, we're gonna continue on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine getting observed? Now, this has never happened to me, but can you imagine getting observed on Halloween or the day after Halloween? It happens all the time. But it does. Mm-hmm. I am like, I'm just. I'm gonna have to take that L. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because no even way. I'm looking crazy today yeah. after Halloween. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I, I, you're still green. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, this one teacher that, did my makeup. I thought and that was watercolor up. paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says I, my my preschoolers were playing teacher during free play time, and my principal told me it was because I was not doing my job, and they were craving a real teacher experience. Oh no. Kids model what they see. Yeah. How do you think they're playing make believe? Because they see me do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I would do? I would go into the mail room right outside the principal's office, and I'd be like, "I'm the principal now. <laughs> I'm going to." And I'd be like, "I'm sorry, guys. I'm just craving a real administrator experience. We don't." <laughs> that would be the perfect that clap. Would, that. Oh my god! Absolutely pristine. Yeah, that would I'm be like, so funny. I'm like, we talk to you like you talk to us. <laughs> it's okay when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Right. <laughs> I cannot. Like, I. Some of the stuff that these teachers are saying their principals have said to them, I'm like, hold yes. up now. Some of this, I think, is actually like maybe an HR call, to be honest with you. Like, 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 uh, it might you have cannot. been like a, hey, uh, I don't know if I'm being treated fairly on this one. Yeah. And I would I'm still upset agree. about the, him telling that woman that he would fall asleep or whatever if he had to listen to her voice for that. I'm like, that is mean. But I'm like, so I don't mean. know. I'm like, I don't know what, what made you think. That you could say that, yeah. Even if y'all, even if y'all had that type of of uh, work relationship, not as a principal doing my formal observation. No, I'm like, Ooh, did you child. get evaluated? One says over Zoom. Did you do hybrid or Zoom I teaching? I did, but if I got, I'm telling you right now, if I had got observed over Zoom, I'm gonna did have you? to take that L. I did. I did. I got observed on Zoom. It was horrifying. They just it, all of a sudden you see, boom, they just join. Yeah, and, and there's no video, no nothing, no. and it's like. Oh, they're watching me. Yep. Uh, oh, bands, you know, this set of episodes, all I keep thinking is this stuff is not fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the teacher math episode. I'm like, this is not fair. And when when I was when we were teaching in COVID, so my husband and I were in a like six hundred square foot apartment. About to kill each other. And he was teaching <laughs> high school history and I was teaching third grade. And I was in the our kitchen, which was basically our living room as well. Uh we I was making breakfast and so I was like singing to myself like being silly mm-hmm. and Jeff was teaching his class so I was like I thought I was like being funny like cinnamon time <laughs> and like spinning around <laughs> and like putting cinnamon on stuff and Jeff is like ha 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 yeah that's my wife ha 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 he's <laughs> 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 he comes Poor over Jeff. and he's like he turns off his his uh he puts himself on mute he's like Jess I need you to stop the principal <laughs> in here <laughs> He turns into Terry Fader. Yeah. He's like, I think it's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Jeff. Did y'all have an argument about that after? I got fired because of you. Like, Who is that woman singing Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the background? That's not in your learning objectives. <laughs> so bad. I hope you enjoyed so the bad. cinnamon rolls because yeah. guess what? We're on food stamps. Yeah, right. And uh, we, don't, we don't get them anymore. And, uh, he didn't like my cinnamon song? <laughs> This lady said that her principal made up what she did because she didn't actually observe her. <laughs> appreciate you, big dog. Ah. If it was a good observation. I appreciate you. If it was a good observation, yes. That's, yeah, you, I, I'm, I'm fine hey, with you that. You gave me all five. I'm fine with that. She was like, let me just copy your self-evaluation since uh, I'm not able to come in and do our observation. That would be nice. The oh amount my. of teachers that have had kids like have bathroom accidents or vomit all over their desks during an observation. I was like, what? You couldn't hold your throw up for two more class periods? <laughs> you only had two minutes that you had to hold your vomit. You couldn't swallow it back. Down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was observation. An, uh, observation. <laughs> <laughs>
This person said a young startup AP commented on her attire and told her it was unprofessional and unladylike. Hmm. Keep your comments to yourself. No, nope. mm-hmm. you can say something if you feel like my outfit is unprofessional, but don't tell me whether it's ladylike or not. Shut up. Yeah. Do you dress differently for your observation? Nope. You don't for your observation. I, you day? know yeah, I'm I lying. Hmm. <laughs> I definitely dress differently. <laughs> I, I'm she not got really the makeup a, on, the heels on. Nah, I ain't wearing no makeup or heels, but I do try to dress it up a little bit because normally I, I dress like a coach at school, but for the formal, I dress like an English teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Bree, do you have your blonde in? extensions in? <laughs> <laughs> she got lashes on. <laughs> you know when you cut when I came in with like regular clothes, and my kids was like, "Miss Richardson, why you got regular clothes on?" And I'm like, "Y'all have a formal observation today." Okay, Ann. <laughs> like, they see you every day and what you normally got on. Why? I know. I'm like, your logic does you know make what? sense. That really You're that just makes inviting sense. yourself to sweat more. You're like, oh, Lee, this is real. Real. way hotter than I thought it was. I'm like, it's 110 <laughs> degrees in the shade how in do, here. How do real professionals do this? <laughs> oh, no, this person said their principal fell asleep during their observation. <laughs> no. He said, oh, her observation, she told her she was a good teacher and probably a good cook, too. What? Trying to go out on a date. Ah. Trying to shoot your shot. No, Yogi Bear, wake up. You're supposed to be doing <laughs> What does the good cook have to do with it? What is I'm, going that's on? That's what I'm telling you. He was trying to shoot. He was like, I know I'm going to give her all fives. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to take her out on a date later on. I'm like, don't tell me I'm a, you don't know if I'm a good cook this, or not. Like this kind of, this one talks about kind of like what you were talking about earlier. I had an unannounced observation just after we had gotten smart boards and I was trying to learn it <laughs> and docked not being able to use the smart board, which like I feel. <laughs> we you, just you got missed the best part boards. of that. I actually vomited during the observation. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine the, the thing is, is you're like, how does this erase? Oh, Whoa. there it goes. Oh, it's it's erasing. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would be a basket case. My my secondhand stress and embarrassment of some of these. The Promethean board is freaking hard I to work. I try to use minimal smart board interaction I'm on my observations as minimal technology as possible yeah. during observation well, welcome to my school district Lutism. because we, we don't have, have the any. option that is <laughs> no minimal i'm, I'm te- talking about at minimum the projector i'm too scared to even use the projector during observation because something inevitably goes out yeah we, wi-fi goes out projector yep. stops working yeah. your Anytime. projector bulb that has been working for <laughs> six school years He's on tired. your formal observation <laughs> just stops working <laughs> See, we had a line where it said utilizes technology. Yeah. And, oh, and, God. I, yes. and yet in my school district, I'm up front with an abacus. Like, can we just <laughs> push this over here? And we gotta, <laughs> gotta, uh, yeah, I was about to say, you better, get, you better get the high uh, marks on that. <laughs> on, Even I'm being able to say abacus. On Na- Netscape Navigator, trying to figure it on. Them. We gotta, hold on. We got to wait for this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Or when your only technology is the janky school laptop that they, that they give you. You. Mm-hmm. They're like, uh, time management, not good. I spent 15 minutes trying to log into my daggone yeah. email yeah. Right? and log into my computer. They come in first period, you open it up, updating. All right. Oh, well. my gosh. All right. And closed. <laughs> We're not doing that anymore. I'm telling you right now, some of these I would just have to take an L because I'm like, <laughs> I don't. Some stuff is out of our, uh, uh, out of my control. My Chromebook just isn't updating right now. Some of it is out of my control. One of the teacher, the teacher across the hall from me, she was trying to log into her computer and all Gmail treats you like you're trying to hack into the Pentagon when you're trying to log in. And so she tried to log into her computer. What sends you, uh, they all have the two-step verification. So it sends a notification to your phone for you to tap. This is me. Yeah. We have no cell phone service that day or no no Wi-Fi that day because that's how she normally gets in and her phone doesn't have good service in the school she couldn't she couldn't get into her computer hmm. and i'm like we solve a lot of our own problems but i'm like listen some stuff i'm like i know you're gonna dock me points for it and at this point so what man like i don't right. some stuff is out of my control but i i i wish that the stuff that i know now obviously a lot of us wish that we knew when we were first yeah. year teachers absolutely but i used to get so stressed out now i'm like whatever y'all ain't got no teachers so yeah and i still care but like yeah I remember being crushed when I was student teaching the prin- the principal of the school. Like I I had gotten really really great observations mm-hmm. with my with the teacher that I was with and then the principal came in. She had some sort of vendetta against me for some reason. Um and oh, the gosh. observation that she gave me, like I got twos like <gasps> across the board and I was 
devastated. You got twos? I got twos. And of course, like you have to she send that liar. back to your, to your professors at college. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was mortified. I didn't know what to do. And I cried. What about your observing teacher? Did she? Oh, she was like, she's like that. Like, she's <gasps> tough. Like, no, blah, she's blah, not blah. tough. And I'm Who? like, Y'all get college kid twos. Like, I mean, I feel like you would have to do like no work to get a two. Like, you was just in there standing up talking. But again, it was like when I went to my my teacher that I was with, she said, "Just go talk to her about it. Be a big girl." (laughs) So I was like, "Okay," (laughs) and I went in, and she was just like. I just have to have like give you room for improvement, and you need to. Uh, know. And I'm you like, gave me a lot of room, like, and I need to quit teaching. Like I'm, I'm not gonna yeah. get my degree. <laughs> my soul needs to be scraped off the floor, but I'll get there. I'll do it. I'll show you. <laughs> In spite yeah. of against the odds, this person said they got marked off for having a chest tattoo because their chest tattoo was showing. I don't. They said I don't have a chest tattoo. Well, mm. <laughs> what were you looking at? <laughs> I would be so mad. Like your tattoo no is showing. No mark for the teardrop, you know, but <laughs> just the chest tattoo is. <laughs> I would be. Are we talking? About, was he just like? Was it like unbuttoning and just letting a little chest hair fly, or was there I some don't know, cleavage but I would situation? Be so mad. I'm like, that's literally my chest hair, man. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like it's not a tattoo. You I ain't got your bifocals on today. How do you? Know? In my mind, it probably was a situation where a teacher wears a, like a school shirt or something oh. and then you put a polo over top of it and so what they see is how can they not like see the, the color of the shirt though I don't know I mean with the colors and everything I don't know it's uh yeah it's one of those things he could have forgotten his bifocals I would be yeah, yeah you like, never know just, there's no way. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to take over the conversation, but this one is ridiculous. This person got criticized for letting a student sharpen their pencil during the observation, uh, and they got uh, reprimanded for not having pre-sharpened pencils ready at hand. Mm. <laughs> are you are you in the district providing any pre-sharpened pencils? Because we still got the pencil sharpener that goes like this. Because apparently crank. buying pencil sharpeners on my wrong. EFF card is furniture. Yeah. What do you want from me, man? Yeah. And b- by the way, I'm using all my pre-sharpened pencils to shiv the principal that gave me <laughs> the... <laughs> Just kidding. Don't do that. Like, what in the world? You lost points because a kid got up to sharpen their pencil and you didn't have pre-sharpened pencils? This ain't the Ritz Carlton. This is yeah. public school what am i like gonna bend over and pick up like the the two inch pencil and just like here you go I'm buddy yeah you want from me they had to use a crayon last week um, i gotta run to Publix. i'm gonna get one of those lotto uh pencil boxes <laughs> be right back one teacher said that's how she kept her kids from stealing her pencils was because she bought like a bunch of those golf pencils yeah golf pencils are easy um i, I ain't gonna do it because all the whole class period i need an eraser on but the, the other kids end. hate the small pencils you know it's just like but on the other end of the spectrum spectrum i saw someone who bought like the giant pencils like the <laughs> thick giant here's pencils the kids the whole class like, period oh mm. i know mm. like mm. my kids would want to lose their I pencils know. to use that like it, you go to sharpen it and have to take it to paul bunyan i know no, it's like, I'm just going to need to chop this I have to whittle, a whittle bit. my pencil yeah, this evening. Yeah, you look back there and see one of your kids <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, what you have is the principle that it's like hold on I got these cutters here with these nails that I can just... uh, uh, I, uh, I still cannot get over that, that it, this, this is this is proof that just because you're a good teacher doesn't mean you're going to be a good principal because why are you clipping read the room fam oh. you take your tie off during staff meeting too you changing your clothes until your workout comfy. clothes during staff meeting what are you doing it's so like you said though all these are like vomit and like the kids just get sick on those days. I know. And or the teacher apparently. It's like on they some feel of them. they feel my stress yeah, and they're they, like, oh, they're... that's good. Yeah, we're we're in tune. See, <laughs> yes. I would give you extra points. I'd be like, wow, look they at that. They just feel my anxiety. So <laughs> this is just that one of her kids stood up and mooned the principal during her observation. Oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Hopefully that was kindergarten. You know, because if I it mean... wasn't, I don't. I, somehow I think it wasn't kindergarten. It's probably middle school. <laughs> And I'm like, at that point, now this is an admin problem. You go ahead and take them with you. Because I would have normally, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Normally, I would call you in this yeah, situation. Right. You, but Thank you're the here. Lord, you're already in you're the room. Here. Take them with you. You I are would, here. Would you lean into it and be like, so that's the first cycle of the moon. 
if we look up at the lunar, uh, you, you gotta, I'm you telling you right now, it. if I wanted to get anything solved and Devin worked at my school, yeah, I right? would just go yeah. to his room. Like, I have this issue. How do I get out of it? Right. <laughs> Tell me what to do. Here's what you do. You leave and you go to the gas station. <laughs> Leave the student's phone at your desk. <laughs> you check the perimeter. All right. I would have been the mental picture of you pulling back up to school with your whole class, the whole school. It was. It, it was, was just honestly. Your class. It was honestly like the video for Gin and Juice. Like I was leaned <laughs> so far back in the chair, like I was just. I my head was literally sticking out the back window. I was uh, like, "What in the world is going on?" Did your principal say something to you? Not no. I and I just like kind of coasted in. <laughs> oh. And, and, uh, and I was just in gonna, my car, and uh, yeah, just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> coast on in here don't mind me i'm just gonna scooch in right i think i lucked out because i think they it was like a real uh alarm and so they had to go through the halls and so there was no admin outside it was just other teachers they were judgy but you know they were judgy (laughs) judge yourself right judge yourself you have bad classroom management judge yourself (laughs) the only time that i didn't really care about observations was when i was teaching pregnant yeah This, this teacher said she was seven to eight months pregnant and got docked for sitting down because I should have been moving among the students. Mm. Never mind that it was the last hour of the day and I'd been on my feet the last seven hours before that. Yeah, how about I just go ahead and take maternity leave early? Piss me off again. (laughs) Yeah, right? the hormones. I I had preeclampsia. My feet were so swollen. I could not put any shoes on other than these huge, giant, like, leopard... (laughs) Leopard print slippers. Listen, at the end of pregnancy, I couldn't fit my feet in. I look like a beached whale. And then yes. don't say nothing. I'm just going to start crying if you say anything I, to me about sitting down. Oh, I was shamooed right in that chair all day long. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm getting up for anybody. Why, no why, way. Why, why would you say something to them? Like, shut up. Uh, you better be lucky I'm still here. Does it look like I want to walk around? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I had an advantage. See, me sitting down was about the height of everybody else standing up. So I just rolled my chair yes, around the classroom. Just scoot, and scoot, scooted right all the way over. I wonder what the principal would do if you just rolled your chair around the classroom. I don't know, but that would be nice. That I'm would be like, fun. I'm, I'm um, doing small groups. Yeah, why not? I'm, I'm just hitting each table. That's what just I used to my chair I did used to like, drag my feet yeah, to every table. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, was... I'm literally a middle schooler. I just rolled around the room because it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Need to switch it up a little bit. I'm bored in here. You're the teacher. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, man. You ever not teach a, a short story or a book because you, cause you're bored with it? Um, I have to teach something that is that I find interesting, too. Because I'm like, if I got to teach this, I mean, unless it's one they're like, you have to teach this. But I've definitely changed a lesson for an observation to make it more interesting. So, like, I right, could so be more be engaged. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no way <sighs> that I could teach a boring lesson. Well... <laughs> There is never a dull moment in the teacher observation world. Thank you to the assistant principal of observations. (laughs) (laughs) There's never a dull moment because the principal has clipped his fingernails down to a very smooth finish. Hope those are vacuumed (laughs) up later. That's rude, you nasty. Answer my mouth. Observation. At that point, I would. I'd rather you just bite your fingernails. At that point, because that's both of them is nasty. Stop it. and on that note, we're going to head out before Jess throws up. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty. You can follow me, Honest Teacher Vibes, on all social media platforms. Follow the Teachers Off Duty podcast and the Board Teachers Comedy Tour. Yep. And Devin Siebold. And don't forget to check out Crying in My Car, podcast for teachers as well. And I am Teacher Tales of Miss Smith. And you can find me usually on Board Teachers hey. at any point. Turn up. <laughs> one time for the one time. Bye, best friends. Bye. Bye.